All right, just got software 2020.8.1, and this is in a Performance Model 3, and in case you don't know who's Performance Model 3, right there, Tesla Social, youtube.com slash Tesla Social. This is his vehicle. Wait, when's the last software update that you got? Because before this, it was on 2019. So right. It's been a while. Right, uh, like two and a half months. So we want to look at these release notes, so let's take a look here. All right, so check it out. Everybody's wondering, track mode V2 comes in this update. You can see right here, here's the picture. It allows you to record video. Um, it allows you to adjust your handling balance, your stability assist, uh, your regenerative braking, uh, and allows you to add different profiles for those modes. So that is super mm -hmm. convenient um, on this track mode. Wait, have you ever taken this to the track? I have not. Maybe you want to now. Oh, look at this. Third party oh, charging oh, stations. Wow. Wait, how important is this to you who travels the entire United States? Exactly. I mean, especially you're in North Dakota. There's nothing in North Dakota. To be able to find that and find those places, uh, rural Canada and other areas where you're out of the supercharging network, this is a game changer. Makes so much easier on the screen. Otherwise, you have to pull up your phone and do the plug share app. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's kind of. That is awesome. I didn't even know this was coming out. Native, look yeah. at that. That is really cool to see that. Cause now, right now, before this, it showed you um, superchargers and then Tesla destination chargers. Right. And now. Uh, Third party. Oh, uh, let me caveat as I'm reading through here. In, uh, now you can find third-party charging options with your in-car navigation select sites in the San Francisco Bay Area are available uh, now with additional locations across the U.S. coming soon. So wait, okay. while you're here, you get to enjoy right. this. Right, at least here. Yeah, we're, but there's plenty of superchargers. <laughs> um, so that's kind of cool. Looks like we have some Bluetooth improvements to improve the audio transition from phone to car. When entering your vehicle, Bluetooth now connects to your paired phone only after you are sitting in the driver's seat and all doors are closed. That's actually amazing. Right. Have you ever been on a phone call and you open up the rear door and it reconnects to Bluetooth? Exactly. So it looks like it's using the sensors in, right. the, in the seats, which is great. Um, and then we've got voice command reliability. Uh, it looks like they've improved the command reliability, including in areas with poor connectivity. Use voice command, simply tap the right steering wheel button and... Awesome. No need to press and hold the button. Just ah, it. I love that. So, I hated that. You have right. to press and hold. Right. You got to say the whole thing. Yep. Now you just press it and say what you want. Cool. So what are your thoughts, Wade? I like that. I think we need to try this track mode. Let's turn it on and see what it looks like. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now do it. Let's close this out. Yeah. Uh, you have to put your foot on the brake. And we're going to driving track mode. Oh, look, customize. Okay. Oh, there's your customization. 50-50 race preset. So 100% regenerative braking. Can we move that? Well, Let's I think see. that's the way it's set ah, for that one. Add new settings. There you go. What do you want to call this? Let's call it the Raj setting. Let's see what happens. Okay, yeah. Look at this. So basically here, you can make it a completely rear, rear wheel drive, drive car. Yep. And how much stability assist do we want? No Yo, assist. Oh, yeah. We're getting dangerous. <laughs> I don't know what this is. Do you know? Uh, compressor overclock? Click the eye. Allows the powertrain's cooling compressor to go into overdrive beyond its normal working rate. So, yeah. There's a lot that can be done here. Please wow. be cautious and careful with anything you're doing. Um, you can even turn off regenerative braking completely. It can accelerate brake wear and right. increase the likelihood of your brakes overheating during aggressive driving, which is why in the package that's available on Tesla's website mm. that includes the wheels and so forth, includes better brake fluid mm. to handle for right. overheating. Heat. Yeah. And there's no reason to ever get rid of that. Right. Um, oh yeah, so here we that go. That is really cool. I think what's really cool about this is um, Wade, you have a dash cam right up here, which I'm sure does a great job recording the stuff. Right. Um, and some people use their GoPros, 
but this is nice because it'll save the video. It stores a video of your driving session when using uh, the lap timer. In addition to the car's telemetry data, saves dash cam for laps, requires a support USB drive. So it looks like it's gonna overlay some of that data on the video, which would be cool. really cool for people recording. That would be awesome. Yeah. Okay, what else do we have? Um, post drive cooling. Continue to cool the powertrain between laps or you can just oh right because it gets hot car. so yeah. it helps it get back on the track faster yep okay um do you want to see what it feels like front wheel drive Ooh. and no stability assist and oh geez let's see what do we do here then we do x out here and push track mode yeah track mode tap home map to indicate Oh, look at this. Ooh. So yeah, you've got, it'll show you your batteries all all good. This will show you- Tires are cold. Tires are cold. And the brakes are cold. Yep. And there's a noise now coming. Yeah. And Set that finish the... line, tap and hold map and location to indicate the finish line. I don't know. Let's see where we're gonna There's go. the finish line. Okay. <laughs> oh, and look. It'll show you, like, see, as I oh, as the regenerative braking, right. and then watch. We can make it go back too, as we accelerate. Obviously, it'll go oh, way yeah, back. That. Yeah. So that's your G. That's I guess your G force, okay. or then pull over here. I want to see uh, the two motors actually. <clears throat> All right. So we're on twenty twenty dot eight dot one. Yes. Yeah. With track mode V two. And this first test is we've made the car a rear wheel drive. Right. So all the power's in the rear. We're gonna try to do a zero to 60. It's a pretty good road. We'll see if anyone's coming. It's and a uh, launch. And a launch. All right. You ready? Ready. Three, two, one. Lift off. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh! Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> Woo! That was awesome. Holy crap. <laughs> so. I have never, uh, I don't have much experience in a performance model three, but I'll tell you one thing, my heart and lungs and liver and all my body parts are up here in my chest. Right. Now you have had, this is your car, Wade. Um, how does that feel compared to your normal launches? Well, I think part of it also is being on the rear wheels. Yes. And it's just putting the front You up. can feel that. Right. Which is just rear is launching it. And plus, yeah. I haven't launched it much since the last power upgrade. We got like a 5% increase. Oh, so you're experiencing 5% plus we just did a right, rear wheel right. drive. Because it was uh, 0 to 60, 3.2. Now I think it's 0 to 60, 2.9 seconds. Oh my God. In I, track mode, I don't know if it's now improving that time as well. All right. So now uh, what we'll try is uh, let's make it a, a front wheel front drive. Front wheel drive. Okay. okay, and uh, oh, and oh, you have no stability. We assist. have no stability control or no stability assist turned on. So, do you want any of that? It automatically brakes and distributes torque to prevent skidding or spinning. Um, oh. <clears throat> I mean, it's very scary that we haven't, but we've been pretty yeah, good. We're going a straight line, so yeah, we're going in a straight line. We're not tracking it, and we're doing it on a closed. If you're on the track and you want to drift, yes. you want to get rid of stability assist. Yes. This allows really good customization. Um, we are also saving these dash cam lap stuff, so we'll overlay it on here to see what it what it looks like. Sure. So this is the front wheel drive. So but we shouldn't feel a lift on the front as much. And it shouldn't Probably be as not. fast being a front wheel drive. Three, two, one. <laughs> no, it still goes up. Holy crap. Oh man, I need my draggy. Uh, so I can get can't. These yeah. Do you have a draggy? I do. Oh. But um, this is recording it for us, right? Yeah, I I, I don't know I if it'll do. So. I don't know if it's doing speed. speed or... yeah, probably not. So I don't know. Front wheel drive, rear wheel drive, they both felt felt the same to me. Same. They yeah. had lift up on the front. So I don't know. I couldn't tell, but it either way, it still felt like my brains got I know. smushed. Yeah, you're getting that cool yeah. counter coup of the brain oh, yeah. and the skull. I like how it shows like the battery is all in good condition, ready to go for the track. So those people who are like really, you know, track enthusiasts like the track there, Model 3s, this is, it's really cool that Tesla's like acknowledging this and making this right. available. All right, 50-50. All right, you ready? Yeah. 
Three, yeah. two, one. <laughs> Shit! So, <laughs> you know, I don't know. A lot of it feels the same, but I think rear wheel drive only has a little bit more of a lift in the front. Yes. <clears throat> and I, I also felt that both rear and front felt a little bit faster and stronger than 50-50. Right. I, maybe because it's not evenly distributing it between front and back, and it's just one of the axles has all. Right, all of um, it. Yeah, so here's the drift preset. There. Rear wheels. Yep. No stability assist. Yep. Versus race preset, it's 50-50, rear, front, and zero, uh, middle stability assist. And what we were doing, you can see how that's darker, that's rear, yep. that's front, and you go side to side there. Stability assist. And it's kind of interesting, the stability assist, um, I wonder if normally in our normal cars it's at zero, and then when you go here, it's giving you more when you're on the track. Hmm. And like, this is like, this is normal. And this is like extra added that stability. And an then this is like question. really like, right. we're not helping you at all. <laughs> right, Good right, luck. Right. <laughs> that's yeah, the, that's the, uh, that's the don't panic mode. That's the, exactly. uh, don't panic. oh yeah, autopilot's not on. No, but don't panic. Yeah, <laughs> yeah definitely don't panic. You're in track mode. Cool. Nice. So hopefully that kind of helped out. You got a cool little sneak peek at 2020.8.1 thanks to Wade and his Performance Model 3. Wade, where can they find you at? Uh, TeslaSocial.com and uh, YouTube. Actually, you go to YouTube, Tesla Social. You can find me on Twitter, at Tesla Social as well. This Performance Model 3 on 20-inch wheels has gone all around the country. I mean, you, you gotta check out his YouTube. Watch the journey. He's gone to the southernmost tip of, of the United States, to the northeast, northeasternmost tip. Yeah, yeah, it's sort of like southern, eastern, northern, western, southwestern, northeast. Every, Twelve extreme points, highest elevated road, lowest elevated road. It's the Alaskan there. Highway, yeah, yeah, this vehicle on these wheels. And in the Arctic Tundra. The Arctic Tundra. I mean, you so. got to see it. And you got to see how dirty this car gets. It's like amazing. But he got some really cool pictures out of it, really cool journey. It's just very interesting to watch. It was a fun trip. Yeah, I'll give you a map if you want to put it on here. Show yeah, the map. absolutely. So thank you guys for watching. Remember, if you like this video, hit that thumbs up button. And remember, if you're not already subscribed, uh, please consider subscribing and check out Wade on his channel. And we'll catch you guys next time. All right. Thanks, Wade. See you later. Thanks. Cool.